All right, it's good morning, good morning, good morning. It is uh, Monday morning. Man, I seem to do some shit in the middle of the morning. It's Monday. I don't know if we got any viewers in here, but uh, we're going to work with a prototype amp. And yes, I got a lot of blue tape on my surfboard. So, uh, going to get see if we get a couple viewers in here. If we don't, okay, that's all right because I'm going to repost this video. Uh, we're going to work with a prototype four pill. There's only four pills. There's nothing under here. All right, real quick. Uh, there's nothing there. There's no driver. I'm going to be running with uh, an external driver, Texas Star, on the high side. These are uh, 12 volt components, and uh, what's going on, guys? Good morning to you. These are 12 volt components that uh, I'm working with, and um, this is a four pill. There's uh, four, and they are not 2879s. These are still 12 volt components, and we're going to be hitting it with the Texas Star on the high side. I'm going to start off with my Cobra radio here, and we're going to look at 12.5 volts to begin with. I'm going to raise my radio all the way up to uh, 16 volts, just to let you know, and uh, we're going to be working with what we got going on here, the same 1,000 watt. Let me see if we can bring this up here. 1,000 watt bird slug, RMS, average, whatever you guys want to call it, I call it bird watts, okay? We're going to have my uh, my standard, i got too much light here, we cut this off. We're going to have my standard uh, bird watt meter here, peak meter, disabled, oh well, wait, we're going to disable it, because watch this, I'm going to pop these batteries out of here as soon as I find a screwdriver. I don't care about peak. I, I put new batteries. They're brand new batteries in here, right? I put them in here. Hold on, work with me. I put them in here the other day. I left this son of a bitch on for five hours, six hours. So my batteries are out of the bird meter. Oh, look, we lost the minion. Minion down, minion down. Yeah, we put them back up here. All right, so we, uh, Strip the batteries off my peak meter because they're dead anyway. I bought brand new ones and damn it to hell, I forgot to shut it off. So, no bird peak. We're not doing it. All right, so, uh, what's up, Chris? We're going to run a quick test here on these are 12 volt components. It's a four pill. We're going to run Texas Star on the high side. I'm not concerned about dead keys, I'm not worried about that. But we're going to run my radio at 12.5 volts. We're going to run at 15.3 uh, volts solid. It's the voltage that's running on the Texas Star, 14.8. So we're going to key these things. We're going to key them up. I'm going to just try to break them. All right. So here we go. Let me, uh, by the way, here. Let me do this real quick. Let me hook up an amp meter. Amp meter. You can buy this at Sears. Craftsman. So we're going to go to uh, DC, 400 amp, clip it on, uh, on the line, I'm going to zero it out. I love when technicians take and then make their videos. Now, they're not showing everything. They're saying, well, I got this much uh, uh, reflect and this and that. So, here's your amperage. Let's look at the amperage. Audio... All right, so we're at 88, 89.9 amps. Here's your input reflect power. This is a 25 watts right here, plugged in direct to the unit, right there to the input. All right, 25 watts. Input reflect, 25 watt scale. It's top scale if y'all don't know how to read a bird meter. A little less than one watt. All right. 1,000 watts RMS power, 1,000 watts RMS, hold on, let me clean this, clean my screen, there, hey, that's much clearer, okay, so, 1,000 watts, we're looking at 1,000 watt scale, bottom scale, there you go, audio, one, two, audio, 800 bird, all right, 
We're going to amper it again down here. I don't know what's going to show up there, but... Audio! 90 amps somewhere in there, 80, 88. So here's your amperage up here on this power supply. Audio! Okay, 90, 93. Here's your voltage. Audio! 15.2. Cool, right? Y'all digging that so far? We're getting ready to get really jiggy with it here in a minute. Let me show you his output power again. Audio. Alright, that's 800 watts of RMS. Now look, I'm going to show you shit again. There you go. See that? It's a 1000 watt slug, 230 megahertz. Same slug I use every day. Alright, Texas Star. High side. See his voltage right here? I normally don't do this. You see the knob? Look what I'm doing at voltage. That's, that's bringing my radio up. So I didn't care much about my dead key. Now I'm going to jump right to the chase. We're going to go 16 volts. That entail is going to take and make my radio drive my Texas Star even harder. That in return is going to make these four pills, these prototypes, run even harder. Now, Hope you're all sitting down, because here it goes. 1,000 watt bird slug, once again. Let me show you the shit again here. Look, I'll even blow it up for you, so y'all can read it. I'm going to hold it there for a second. See what that says? 1,000 watt. Not 10,000, 1,000. Alright. Bottom scales, boys and girls, I ain't touched a thing. I ain't worried about dead key. Audio. Nine hundred ninety-nine nine point nine watts. Audio. Why? All right. So that's the watt meter. Let's look at the amp meter. Let's slide her down a little bit. We got five people in here. I appreciate you coming in here so late, early in the morning. Here's your amperage. Audio. 108 amps out of four pills. 108 amps out of four pills. Here's your voltage once again. We got a little battery popping up here. Audio 15.2 volts. So, all of you disbelievers out there and things and people chasing watts, I got it. I make them. And this is how I do it with a whole lot of blue freaking tape but anyway being real about it these are some prototype transistors that I'm working with and uh, eh, I'm gonna have to take play with them a little bit more but uh, this is about maybe an hour's worth of work for me and uh, this is what I came up with so I did bolt my radio yes I did you know why because I, I needed a bigger driver I could have took and plugged in a 3 pill or a 5 pill, but I didn't. I still continued with the little old Texas Star and how do you find watts with volts. So I'll back this back down. Let's see what this thing does. No, I don't know. Let's go here about 14.2. 14.2. This is a watts. 14.2 on my radio. Amplifier is setting at uh, 14.8, 14.7. Main output amplifier, four pills, 15.2 volts. Here's your average. Oh, wait a minute, I grabbed the wrong microphone. Try that one again. All right, here's your average. Oh, 102 amps. Sounds like it's making some watts to me at 102 amps. There we go. 1,000 watt slug. Oh, 900 bird RMS average power not dozy watts not whatever damn meter you got this is what it is bird watts electronics make sure you get the one that says through line bird electronics corporation if you don't have that you don't have a real bird meter now I'm discussing this because there's builders out there making amplifiers that have Fuck, I ain't got one on, on, online here. I ain't got one in the shop. Alright, well, wait, no, I take that back. Here's one. 
See that? I don't use them. I, I, I use this one sometimes to just to see if my radio is working. But you see, it just says watts. Yes. It says this right here. That's important. Because 30, 30 uh, microamps or uniamps or whatever the hell they call it. But these are aftermarket meters. This right there is a real bird meter movement. Joule mechanism. You see all the copper? Right there. Where's that? See that? That's the real shit. Alright, so. <laughs> Oh man, I love making videos. What you got going on here, Mark? Not good video, Danny. Not a good video? Why, Mark? I don't know why. Maybe it's the Wi-Fi. It's jacking up. Anyway, I'm going to continue with the video because I'm going to repost it later. Here we go. 14-2. Ayo. Oh. 890 watts. There you go, boys and girls. Prototyping stuff tonight. Y'all have a good one. Bumping on you later.